Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld. We're starting this episode kind of like last episode, in the middle of a rainy thunderstorm, and lightning has just hit. I was queuing up hauling jobs on everybody, trying to get all that food brought in before it deteriorates. And I got this fire notice, and, and thought I'd better pause right there and, and uh, get the episode started, because poor Ham took a direct hit. Ham, health... Burns to the neck, jaw, body, and front leg. Unfortunately, maybe it's too recent, but I can't send anybody to go put him out. He was going to go drop and roll. Now I can, so it was just too soon. So, Natalia, can you go give him? You cannot. So, it must be one of the things you can't do. Who else is down in this area? Anybody? Nobody. <clears throat> well, him, you're just going to have to drop and roll and put yourself out, I guess. There's nobody out here. What are you doing? Come on. Stop running. Come on, Ham. Come on, Ham. Help. Okay, good. Whew. I was a little worried that it wasn't going to end. But anyway, he's going to go find himself a, uh, a place to rest. One of these spots over here, and then Tomislav or Natalia could get the uh, the trigger effect. Let's have Natalia just head down there. Draft you and send you down here. And get there about the time that Ham runs in to uh, to, to be helped. Alright, with that, yeah, we've got a lot of stuff out here and a lot of it's being hauled in. So, Tomislav, where did you... Not Tomislav, Shantigo. I had you... Mining this out, but you weren't all that excited about it. Where are you at? You are hauling granny. You really wanted to haul. And that was another oddity. Um, Shantigo. Oh, okay. I was looking at the wrong one. I thought you did not have a haul there, but you do. Okay. Now you'll go back to mining your first two. All right. So you are wanting to haul that. I'll tell you what. Let's just let you finish... Oh, you're just going to there. Okay, I was thinking you were heading out over here. So come on over here and continue mining this out so we can expand this freezer real quick. So we're just about full over here. Ham's on his way in. Here comes Natalia. She's going to take care of him right there. So let's undraft you and just have you directly tend to Ham. You'll grab some herbal medicine and take care of him. He, he took a direct hit. We're, we're lucky he made it. Yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's pretty rough. Anyway... Filling this up, 75 is our limit to our stack, and we're getting close to that limit. 75s and 10s. Kind of wish I could move the bug meat out of here, put it somewhere else, but it will work well as kibble, so I'll, I'll leave that alone. They're going to bring it in here pretty quick, though. And not all of it goes in here. Some of this is cotton. The hay grass, I'm trying to remember how long it will stay outside roofed. You know, like uh, herbal medicine. It should be refrigerated, except uh, Roof has still got a two-year shelf life. So if I could drop some hay grass off inside a room or something, then I could, I could tell. But where it's all sitting right now, I can't. What happened here? Natalia is taking care of ham, health. Got some pretty good uh, bandaging going on here. 89, so 50 to 89. We have struck compacted machinery. Oh, we got some good stuff in here. Compacted machinery will give us the, uh, um, the components which we should have stored right there. I actually don't have a lot left, so I do need to start tackling that. That and, well, before I go any further, I see everyone's kind of straying and doing their own things. Cathra needs... You can go just a little bit longer. Do we have room? We kind of do. Let's make some room and see if we can get us a little more hauling done tonight. Stockpile, click there, and let's fill in these last voids. Okay. And this should eventually come out, leave a pathway in, but... We'll leave it for now. Cathra, you can bring in a little bit more of something. Um, haul a corn, and then um, maybe haul a corn. And then when you're done with that, um, can you haul a corn? Nope, you can't. That is the end of the space. Who else is not doing anything productive or important? Hauling cloth? Let's, let's go this way. Sowing strawberry plants, rabbit is, but... Before you sew anymore, well, can't haul anymore. Okay, you can haul this in. So haul that one. Scroll down, haul this one, and then haul this one. 
All right. Next in line. Is it going this order? Chantigo? Yes, it does. Okay, you're busy. Klaus, you're consuming a fine meal because you've worked up an appetite. Uh, Sangria, before you do any more of that, I want to switch you over to strawberries. We're pretty much mature on everything. So let's go ahead and make that switch we talked about a long time ago. So you're going to harvest all of these and put strawberry plants in their, in their place. But before you do any of that, we don't have room for what we have. Leave it in the ground where it won't go bad. And what? Hmm, can you mine? Sangria. Mine. Uh, 4 of 20. Not really. Tomislav can. Where did you sneak off to? You are hauling herbal medicine from here to there. Tell you what, Tomislav, you orders. You're at the bottom. Turn off your hauling. I'll just do some manual orders from here on out. Turn on your mining enough to get you to stay over there. And Tomislav, why don't you come down and help uh, Shantika mine this out for at least a little bit more before it's time to go to bed. It's 20 hundred hours, so another couple of hours. And then Sangria, you can move this herbal medicine into there. And then who do we have left? Cathera, we have signed, and Antalya was taking care of ham and then going to get a fine meal. She doesn't do hauling, so let's... Okay, she'll just grab uh, probably another table here and start making some more blocks. Taking a fine meal. Okay, that's kind of good. That means they'll eat them without a table somewhere, but otherwise you're done for the night resting. And well earned, too. You didn't sleep all day and all night the previous night, so you're tanked down there. All right, so Sangra brought that in. Shantigo is digging up granite. Tomislav is sewing area. Yeah. Gonna have to force this a little bit. Tomislav, we'll just take your growing down one notch and that will turn mining back on a little more permanent basis until we get this crisis taken care of. It's almost time for bed, so they're all gonna stop here pretty soon. Uh, Sangria is bringing in a, a steel knife. Oh, that reminds me. Let me pause here a second. Uh, Handy had, had uh, mentioned that I was I was bringing up the the subject of what we want to store in each of the bedrooms, and I can kind of I can kind of specialize this. Unfortunately, I can't specialize each bay, only the whole unit. So if I say weapons and clothes, we're going to get probably all weapons and or all clothes. So I can't specialize it that much, but. Um, she was commenting that the steel clubs had a beauty of negative six, so that wouldn't work well in the bedrooms. Out of curiosity, I turned on the beauty and looked at it. The shelving unit cancels that out. Whatever is inside doesn't come through into the room from what I'm gathering, from what I'm seeing here. So everything in this room is neutral, except that the good quality beds and, and furniture is a two, and the, the plant is an 18, so that gives us a plus 0.4 for this whole room. So what is on the shelves is just for our convenience. It's not going to count against us. The dirt, though, we do have to deal with that, especially this hallway. is always filthy. But once the hauling's done, we'll get back to cleaning. Then we'll get back to some kind of a normal, well, a normal set of orders and, and get back to our, our normally, you know, regularly scheduled programming, except that's about the time that we're going to get a raid drop onto us because it's about time. It's been several episodes, it feels like, since we've had any real excitement. RimWorld doesn't allow that to last for very long. Okay, you guys are chipping away there, which means soon we'll be able to haul some more stuff in. Klaus is reloading these lights. They're not truly needed, but as far as as heat, but it does make it look good at nighttime. So let's lay a couple more of those out while I'm thinking of it. Uh, furniture, you're back over here. Could use one. What is this right here? That's just a pathway. Um... Right there, put a light in. And we could drop one in over here just to light this area up. And then what? Drop one over here and over here. Yeah, they take wood and that's fine. We have plenty. And it's just for the ability to record and, and uh, make it a little easier to see this. Especially if you're watching this on a phone. I don't watch anything on a phone, so I don't know what that's like. <laughs> Um, so, we have chipped away something. That's good enough. Let me take over that something. 
and get somebody who's not hauling to bring something more in before bedtime, which is in one hour. So digging at granite, carrying fine meal, consuming a fine meal. Rabbit is hauling, and he's probably going... No, he's doing fine, so when he gets... No, he's hauling cloth. Okay. And that's almost done, right? Uh, 75. Yeah, one more load, and that's finished. Sangria, well, you're right there, but let's continue in this order. Shantigo's digging. Klaus is hauling corn, which is getting close to being done. Is there a number on there? No, he's carrying it. Okay. There's one more load of corn to do. Sangria is taming... Nope. Sangria is hauling in... How do I get her to go from here to there? Is that close enough? If I say go here, haul corn, will you move over and finish off your 75, or will you call it done right there? Good, you did. And then Cathra is hauling a chunk of granite, and Natalia is sleeping. Do we have one more? We do. So Cathra, I can get you to haul something for me right there. Uh, you're here. You're in that area. You're hauling that chunk. You carrying a chunk? I don't think you are. So you are coming over to do what? Probably to grab the rest of this. Though we're going to need that, a lot of that hay grass for the winter without getting ruined. So let's grab a load of that too. And let me have just two more spaces here. And we'll call this a night. Right there's one. So right there. Who else can haul something? Sangria. What do your needs look like? You're fine. So when you're done with that, let's come over and grab another load of this. And then, as soon as this one chips through, we'll set up one more order, and that's probably going to be it for the night. There. I'm a slave driver. Got to get this done. <laughs> Who? Handy is sewing again. I'll leave her alone. Rabbit. You are hauling clothes. Got one more load to do. Sangria's got one more load to do. Cathra will have one more load to do. And it will be corn. And with that, Klaus, you are just hauling stuff. Tell you what, when Chantigua gets his last one, or Tomislav gets his last one done, then we'll have Klaus maybe bring something back. Which is what? don't know, but he's finished. No, he gave up. No, 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 no. You were almost done. Let's finish this off. So close. Hey, Cathra. Hey, Domislav. There we go. Whoops. One more. There and there and there. Who can bring one last thing in? Rabbit, you needs... You're still in decent shape. You can handle one more load out here. All the cloth is in. That's good. Uh, we've got one more coming out of here. 30, 40, 50. There's 75 there. Uh, we'll sacrifice the one. Let's go for this one right here. Okay. And Sangria is there. Is there still room for one more load of something? Or is it if I count if I miscount it? No, it will let me do one more. Okay. And then Klaus, you can do one more of these too if it'll let me. It will. So we've cleared out more than, than I had realized. Handy, you're available to bring just one more in. You guys can all fight over who's going to get what. Okay. With that, everyone who managed to sneak off to bed, good job, because I didn't catch you. <laughs> Otherwise, it's going to be a late night. Got, got to get, got to rescue all these supplies before they're ruined. Notice when the lightning flashes, all the uh, the uh, solar power panels fire up for just just a second. Boom! Get a little burst of, of energy into there. The battery bank is full. That it is. I wanted to take this out. I don't actually I don't know where I want the next battery bank. They may not stay in here at all when we get to the, you know, designing the, the final layout of the whole base. So somewhere there's going to be a power. I mean, we, we've got, we'll have all this available to us once we get inside there. So part of the base can be out here in stone structures and, and more permanent. So we could have a power 
something, you know, basically in this area, I guess, since we're near the power source. Though we're probably going to want a backup power source at some point. I haven't really looked around for, for geothermal. We'll probably find something in the mountains somewhere, but it uh, seems like there was something out in here. No. Did it just get quiet? It's rain. No, there it is. It's still thundering. There's a the geothermal. It's not too far away. We could put a, a safe wall around that. Clear. It is shutting down and calming down. There's one over there, so that's a bit further away. Really nice to have a geothermal right next to your base. There's a third one up there, but it doesn't always happen. And we could have tried to enclose all of this and did a, a land base and got around that one, but that's fine. So, Cathra, you are cutting stone. Needs? No, you're not. You're going to bed. You're going to get a meal. Okay. Anybody else enslaved by the the uh, priority command? Doesn't look like it. All right, so we, we've saved Cathra's life there. All right, well, that's a lot of stuff hauled in. Um... 36 out of 60. Uh, wow, the hay grass is just devastated by that uh, that rainstorm. So is the corn. Yeah, that was that was actually important to get that stuff in. This stuff's in rough shape. We do have a few spaces left. So Catherine's over here eating in the dark. Minor break risk. Uh huh. Yep. <laughs> She's going to get abrasive tomorrow. <laughs> Taking a fine meal, then going to bed. Yep, resting. Okay. What are my notes saying while we're waiting for daytime? Um, I'd switch the alpaca to obedience training. So that hopefully will be happening soon. Um, set the strawberries. Did or talked about it? Did. And Sangria or Rabbit will probably jump right into that first thing. Uh, we'll keep Tomislav and uh, Shantigo mining until this is empty. And maybe this one too. It'd be nice to get a backup battery bank going. Something we can charge up and then turn off. And they, you know, we haven't had a short yet. We haven't had a major zzz. So when that happens, everything kind of dies for a while till this starts to recharge. Unless it's nighttime and this is just barely making anything. We must be at 4 a.m. The sun's coming up just a little bit. We're just starting to get a little power coming out of here. Um, otherwise, how's Ham doing? Ham needs health. Burns are going away, not leaving any scars so far. 28 of 30, 39 of 40, and 25 of 30. So he's almost back. Um, back to the list. Move the hay. Okay, so eventually we want to move the the hay out of here. These stack in 200s, right? Yeah, so this is actually a lot of room left for hay. Uh, is it, are they calling it hay? They're calling it, yeah, they're calling it hay. Out here it's called hay grass, right? Or the, in the, in here it's called hay grass, but in here it's called hay. Interesting. Um, so I want to move that out to a barn and see how, what kind of a life expectancy it has, shelf life. Um, upper block storage, a higher priority. We'd like them to drop it here before anywhere else, since we're not dropping, we're not hauling from the benches anymore. Just the the haulers are doing it. So let's take this guy storage and move him up to a critical. This is where we're building with it. So let's get it moved here and fill this up. Then we'll we'll get it constructed and laid out. Um, everyone's waking up. Natalia is stone cutting, but not she's doing it of her own will. But there was something against her will. A sign. Let's clear forest on Natalia and see if she will continue to wear it. Um, Klaus too. Alright, that's fine. And who has the uh, tattered clothes? Natalia. Why? Oh, that was a jacket. We took it off of you and you put it back on. Is that what I'm getting out of that? Yeah, you want your jacket. Okay. I could force you to not um, not wear a jacket, but then I'll re I won't remember to turn it back on. So we'll just go with that for a while. How you doing otherwise? Needs? Food? Can I tell you just to grab a good meal while you're here before you make the trip? Yeah. Consume a fine meal. That'll kick that up. Beauty is probably non-existent up here. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, 
And there's no granite store down here, so you'd be running to get it every time. Yeah, this is probably the worst place to have put this, right next to all the graves. What's the beauty on a grave? Is it as bad as I'm assuming? It's not. Just negative ones all around. Huh. So sitting in that chair, it's a negative 1.8. That's going to tank you. Hmm. Well, I'd put a potted plant next to you to cancel it, but uh, we'll just get this job done and then make that go away. Hopefully, we'll, we'll get through the day that way. Otherwise, Antigo's busy there. Everybody else got a really late to bed, so they're going to be a while getting up. All right. So, jackets, this is a duster right here. Maybe we can notice that that drops and have Natalia uh, swap that out before somebody else grabs it. There's nothing stored up here. No. All right. Um... Back to the list, back to the list. Those are done. Oh, that's right, I wanted to let you guys know that this may be the last episode for a couple of days. I've got uh, lots of things to do before Christmas, both personally and I've got a Christmas special that I want to put together. And I haven't found time to really even get that started. So I need to spend the next two or three nights doing nothing but that. So I'm putting this series on hold for a little bit. Hopefully I'll get back to it before Christmas actually hits and get another episode out. But it's going to be a few days before the next episode comes. Um, otherwise, move dusters to 10 and force chop a whole bunch of trees this episode and get our wood supply back up. So, bills, dusters, let's add a few more. Hmm. Just looking at that. It was at 7, and I had set it for 8. She's only made one duster this whole time. Didn't realize that. I mean, I know that uh, um, Sangria is wearing it. I just assumed she spent so much time at this table that they had been done. Dusters do take an awful lot of work, though. So, what was it 80 and 100 for the different shirts we had looked at? Well, not that one. The duster takes... Where am I right here? Details. Whoa! 434 work per duster. Wow. Now, what was the work on the, uh, on the, let's see here, Bill, can I see the, the parka from here as far as work? I cannot. That's frustrating. So I have to add it as a bill, uh, parka, add, and then get into details to see that's 400. So a parka takes less work than a duster. Huh. It's not as versatile as a duster, but... We're going to pay for that versatility, apparently. Successfully tamed a wild boar. Good job. We have named him... No, we've named him Wild Boar 1. <laughs> and Ham is fully healed. Great. No scars. Health, no scars. Like he was never struck by lightning. Boy. Good job. Um, a sign. No animals. Wild boar. We will at least set for... Um, basic obedience. We could do kind of the same that we're doing with the, with the dogs. Is rescue and haul. And even turn haul off of the others. Though I can't anymore, can I? So once they're trained, they'll probably be... Well, we'll have to see how that works. I'd rather risk a, a wild boar in a battle situation than the dogs, now that I think about it. But when I was thinking about it, that wasn't really an option. All right, so Nat Natalia got a hold of that one. Guess Cathra, no. Then Natalia, why don't you go ahead and work up here? The beauty isn't as good, but all of your supplies are right there. So go ahead and work on that one instead. Now, what is Cathra doing? These guys are mining away in here, and they're having a nice conversation. But Candy's working on that. Ham's down there. Everybody else is off doing something. Sangria is taming for obedience. Um, failed. Okay. I feel like we're missing a lot of people. How am I not seeing them? There, you're still sleeping. Okay. Let's go through this. Handy's right there. Rabbit is getting ready to harvest heel root. And Klaus is going for a walk. Because he needs it. Alright. Sangria is sowing strawberry plants. So, where are you? Double click. Oh, you're up in this area. Okay. In that case, Klaus, how are you truly? Needs, joy, yeah, you do, you do need it. Okay, I'll leave you alone. 
Um, but we do have room here to expand this. Except not you. <laughs> that wouldn't be... Whoa! It just let me build a stockpile over the water. That was actually a nice discovery. So you can put things in the shallows. Huh. So we could... I guess that we're doing it right here. Hmm. So what's the advantage of that? Stones in the shallows to slow down enemies coming in. Of course, that gives them cover, too. Hmm. I have to think about that. What would be beneficial in the shallows? You know, there is the, the there was a suggestion of chem fuel out here, which I'm hesitant to to uh, uh, to risk losing. But it would be quite a pyrotechnic show if we did it. Maybe we'll put one out there just to just to have fun. Um, otherwise, that was an interesting discovery. Rabbit's doing all that. Still need actually, we do need this hauled in, but not you two. Let's go ahead and get this all set up for one last run. Klaus, you seem to be. Uh, enjoying the hauling thing right now so let's let you get up to right there and then haul this one stacks of 75 so that group right there haul this one haul this one and haul this one that should clear this out and then what else is sitting out here we got medicine to bring in rabbit you are harvesting strawberries so you're going to take over this one again and hopefully you hang around and just get this done because there's there's room to put a lot more uh, strawberry plants up in there. Um, alpaca training. We're not training for release. So we've already got the obedience done. And is assigned to Sangria. Doesn't need to be now, right? I'm thinking not. In fact, let's look at that. So uh, Ham still has not bonded. Well, we don't know. Um, burned. Mm. Peace talks opportunity. Um, so the whole situation about him being burned. Okay. Was wounded. Doesn't say lightning. Anyway, training. No. Social. Has not bonded. Okay. Back to the animals. Um, Sienna, while she is doing a little bit of training, not much. We're going to leave her connected to Handy. Uh, while Boar doesn't have the option yet. Okay. And while Boar will be where? Probably anywhere. Somebody mentioned that if they are trained for obedience, they'll leave less dirt in the in the house. So, all right, we'll, we'll let him have the run of the place. What is this peace talks? Huntsman, chief of a court of Minio, has sent us a message. He wants to talk with us in a nearby location. It could be a great opportunity to improve relations with their faction, but beware. A poor negotiator can cause more harm than good and even anger them. The offer will expire in 15 days. So this involves taking a long run with pack animals that we don't have yet. So I'm going to say that's not likely going to happen. But if we hit there in terrain, kind of gives us an idea of what it looks like. And if we had wanted to, we could do a right click here and a right click here to find out this is 5.8 days. Um, so we have to have, have to have enough food to handle, what would you say, two weeks? You know, some time in between, some time uh, for some kind of a run-in with bandits on the road, or who knows what's going to happen out of that. I think uh, we're going to pass on that one. We're not, we're not that far into it yet. Don't have the really the capability. We need all hands on deck just to get our basics going right now. Um, with that, who else needs to be? bossed around a little bit before we can get back into a more normal thing. It just feels like we've got a few too many names around here. Who am I missing? You guys. Natalia is up top. Cathra Sangria is right there. Klaus. Rabbit. Rabbit is off over there. And he didn't hang around long enough. What are you... Because oh, you, you've got the order to go relax socially. Okay. That's fine. Though, if you're going to do that, can you bring these in with you? Right there, rabbit. And I wish there was a way to say every time you're heading back to the base, see if there's anything to pick up and haul. But there isn't. Everybody's going to relax for a while. I need to lock somebody in here, Cathra style, and clean and get all the cleaning done. Um, what am I doing? This. Click. Expand. Temperature in here. We're at 22 degrees. And we need to get this one door done to get our airlock 
satisfied. Sienna's bringing in more of this. Let's take a look at something. Spoils in two years and, and one quandrum. 60 out of 60. This would have been outside. It would have probably had some damage to it unless they just harvested right now. Let's see if this changes. Did not. Just the quantity. And we should be able to haul up to uh, uh, 75 or into that space. All right. 1,500. Everyone's going back to work. Rabbit missed his, his time off, though. Needs. He was not in that bad a shape. Okay. Klaus missed his, too. He needs is okay with joy though his mood is although his lines are further down than most so he's in good shape too Cathra is busy doing that again Shantigo is doing the last of the mining which we want to queue up why is it a different color I guess it's because we can't actually see it all the rest of these can be seen from the outside except those two alright so let's queue up mining real quick right there in there. Maybe we'll fill those back in with granite. But I want someone to haul before you guys all go running away. Um, Handy, you can bring in these potatoes. And you've got a good run speed. When you're done, come back and get these potatoes. And that'll be fine. Anybody else up in here that has the misfortune of being up in here and have me find them? Natalia won't haul. So I guess not. Sangria, you're the last one. Cloud watching needs. You're good. Bring in the last of this hay. Alright, Klaus, you are also bringing in hay. What's left over here? Um, Actually, I think Sangria can finish that. So, Klaus, why don't you haul... Hmm, actually, why don't you drop some building materials into here? Like, right there. Oh, that's wood. Never mind. Uh, right here. And we do need to get some tree cutting going on. We do. <laughs> He's never going to give up on her. <laughs> All right, so Tomislav, you're digging at. You're good at, well, no, everybody's the same good at chopping trees. But let's make that happen here. Um, Tomislav, we will turn your mining back down to a three. And plant cut is your next joy of your life. So we need to get... We're keeping these for a nearby cover. We're getting rid of everything that the enemy may use as cover. So go ahead and take that one out. I shouldn't have to tell you to go to the next one. You should uh, go straight there and stay there because... Plant cutting is now your number one. And there went the duster and Cathra got it. Actually, I'm going to disturb your 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 calm a little bit and have you drop it. Sorry. A raccoon... No, that's the... Never mind. Cancel that. Not the raccoon leather t-shirt. That's going to cause all kinds of issues. But put that back down. And can I have Natalia forswear this even though it is... Yes, even though it is uh, forbidden. She'll do that, and we'll get rid of this tattered thing. I wonder if someone else will immediately pick it up. Now, when she drops it, it might automatically forbid. Otherwise, I'll go ahead and do it myself. Yeah, I'll do it myself. Forbid you. It's in what will be the trading zone. We'll expand this a little bit. To, in fact, in case you don't know, you can hit Create Stockpile, and it will it will put this, this pink stockpile zone out to match the perimeter of the beacon. And we may even chip a little more of this out. This is not our permanent beacon, so it probably won't waste the time. Anyway, um, it is within the zone. It is under a roof, so it's fine. Now, Klaus, I don't, didn't really want you to build it, but if you could just haul the stuff, so go ahead and do that as well. Then release you to go off and do something else. Uh, which is what? Klaus, you are warden first. We got nobody to warden, so back to butchering. Butchering, that's right. There's nothing to butcher right now, but we really could use some meat for some fine meals. I think I'll have you go out and hunt this guy. We'll go ahead and... In fact, I'll have you and Rabbit both head out and do it. All right, so we'll do that specifically. Tomislav's up in there. Klaus already made the delivery. And let's go ahead and deliver to this. And just kind of get everything laid out. And then I'll turn Handy's construction back on. Right there, 
And you're going to do those and over in there. Oh, good job. Now do this one. And we've pretty much wiped out the need to continue working up here. I think we have. Let's, right there, let's cancel that. And cancel that. And cancel that. All right. So let's have you deliver to this one. And we'll call this job done. Except for all the doors. All right. So, Klaus, where's Rabbit? Rabbit is down in here. Let's have you two go do a little hunting trip. You are, you've got an, an assault rifle. So do you. Great. That's the two that I want. So, draft and draft. Let's go ahead and take down that mega sloth and, and get some meat in here. So, Klaus, and then hold down the shift. No, boy, that didn't work. What on earth just happened there? I held down the shift and I click, I right clicked rabbit and went to the world map. You'll have to explain that one to me. I'm going to try holding down the control this time. No, that's really weird. Huh, I used to be able to do that somehow. Okay, we'll do it this way. You are selected and right click now and shift. Nope, you're not going to do it. Okay, then Rabbit, you go here and Klaus, you go here. We'll, we'll do this the hard way, the old fashioned way. It looks fuzzy, like it's starting to rain. It's really starting to rain again. You're kidding me. Oh, the weather here. Andy, sorry, but I need a runner. Can you gather all the potatoes you can hold? That's one load there. And Cathra, I need you to bring the rest of the hay in. Uh, right there. And who else is in this area? Sangria. I'm going to have to interrupt you. You were cutting grass. Now, let's, let's not cut anymore for a moment. Let's just haul all this stuff in. Otherwise, Shantigo, you can grab... Oh, it might be easier to just have you consume them. Um... I guess that's it. Okay. Well, come get him anyway. Right there. Do that, and that is everybody in this area. Yeah. Thomas Slob's up there. Rabbit's here. And Natalia's up there. Okay. So with that, I can probably shut down Bills. Let's just do that. And we'll worry about tearing it apart later. You're... Mm, you're not going to... And you won't haul. Okay, you're just going to eat there. I was going to have you haul that in to get another one. All right, Klaus, I want you... There he is. Let's head this way, up into there. Rabbit, you're right there. You're going to head down low. We'll see if he does come after either of us. Otherwise... Actually, right there is good. Now, actually, can I... I'm going to try one more time. Hold the shift, and now I can get both of you. Interesting, I couldn't do that before. Maybe it had to do with standing on a square that had multiple items and something. I don't know, that was odd. Anyway, both of you guys take him out, and let's see how he reacts. So far, we're just hunting him. Okay. Alright. Rabbit head into here. Klaus head into here. Uh, we're gonna... He's gonna dive low, isn't he? Yep. Both of you guys come on over here. No raids yet. I'm really surprised. Alright. Let's, while we're here... Let's see. Rabbit. Undo. And... No hunt. No hunt. Really? Okay. Then we'll do this. Oh, that was my fault. I did that. Do that. You need to be set to hunt. Rabbit. Go get him. Klaus. Set this guy to hunt. That apparently wasn't hunt. Okay. There's a warning for a 
trying to train wild turkeys. That's interesting. Uh, Klaus and there. And when you guys are done, I guess I can let you guys come over here and eat. There's that possibility. Okay, Klaus, let's let's skip this uh, long distance uh, um, target shooting here. <laughs> right in there. Let's get this done. Fire a turkey. Did you? You did. A party. <laughs> oh, man. Worst timing, too. I wanted you guys to haul all these things in. I wanted you to get a meal. But they need to get to the party to get the huge advantage of a party. Okay. So you and turn that off and haul, unfortunately, the meals. Tell you what, rabbit. Hmm. I can't easily say just get it under cover, can I? I got three trips out here to haul. Um, alright. This is this is awkward. Alright, you are now a you're everything all right now that won't really work i can't specifically say hall to there can i if i were to say hall where would you put it nope i take you up one notch important there we go put that under cover and then haul that one in. Klaus, you're hauling in this way. Is that a problem? Doesn't seem to be. All right, so where's this party? Right, we're having a party out here. Oh, 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 oh. Tomislav started a social fight with Natalia. Reason? Hard work versus lazy. Really? Who's lazy? Needs. Character. Okay, Tomislav's a hard worker, and Natalia, I guess he accused her of being lazy or something. Social? Um, slighted Tomislav. So Natalia slighted Tomislav. This drove Tomislav into a rage, and he began a fight. But where's the party? It's just That's just the way that some parties happen, huh? This is the party, get all these folks together, and... And apparently tempers flare, and there's not a thing I can do to stop this. One thing I can do is read the combat, uh, combat log and, and get a, a chuckle out of it. Tomislav hit Natalia with a smash from his forceful left fist. Natalia used her left fist to smash Tomislav, wounding his left arm and left humorous in an explosion of gore. Man, Tomislav tried to smash Natalia, but hit only air. Natalia tried to clobber Tomislav, but hesitated at the last second. And Tomislav tripped while trying to clobber Natalia. Natalia attempted to smash Tomislav. Tomislav clobbered Natalia in the torso. Natalia clobbered Tomislav in the torso. They're going to go till somebody knocks somebody out, right? Now, they're both doctors, so they're both going to have to attend to each other's wounds. And Natalia smashed Tomislav in the torso. Tomislav smashed Natalia, wounding her right arm without emotion. <laughs> Natalia stumbled while trying to clobber Tomislav with her left fist. Tomislav smashed Natalia, lacerating her left arm while laughing. What do you want to... Why do you want to bet they're going to end up getting married at some point later in the series? Uh, Tomislav and Natalia are no longer social fighting. Okay. Now they're off to go to medical beds that we don't have. Tomislav, this one is now a medical bed. You guys can both head into here. Oh, what a mess. Before all that happened, did you manage to get the bonus for being at a party? Attend a party plus one? I wonder if it's accumulative how long you're there. Sangria. Where are you going? Attending a party. Plus one. What? It used to be like plus 20 before. We'll see if that accumulates. Um, they're not going anywhere until they finish their party. <laughs> Dang it, I'm here for a party. I'm not leaving. Yep. Wounds, how bad are you? Uh, health. You're not going to bleed out. You not either. So, okay. You're fine. 
Now, I do want these guys to be able to be part of this. Klaus is there. Rabbit, where are you? Right there. So you're walking through the party. Does that count? Yep, he got a plus one out of that. I wonder if he'll give it to him if he's just within proximity or if, in general, the whole clan gets it. Nope, still at a one. Whereas we're up to a three now. But I need that undercover. So as soon as he gets to a place where he can drop that off. Yeah, something like that. Rabbit. We'll call that good enough. And attending a party. Good. So, Klaus, with your turkey. It's 2100. I wonder if the party goes away at, at 2200. Let's give him the... Well, I want to say let's temporarily take this down for just today. How does that sound? And let them stay at the party a little bit longer. All right. Tell you what, as soon as you get right about there, it should drop it off to the nearest available spot. But if I'm too close to here, it may drop it off out over there. All right, so he's going to attend a party too. So everybody's up here attending a party. They're talking. They're hopefully not getting on each other's nerves. I see Tomislav and Natalia are on the farthest you know, end of the party from each other. This might be a good time to kind of look at social, see how things are going. Um, in fact, that might be something to kind of end the episode with rather than a raid dropping in. Though we're ending it on another rainy night. Yeah, that's, that's becoming a pattern. Anyway, Andy is doing good with Sangria and Tomislav as far as, as uh, enjoying their company. Um, let's move through this way. Tomislav is, is uh, socializing well with Handy, Klaus, Sangria, and Chantigo. Doesn't care too much for Catherine and Natalia at this point. Um, now, you could pass over some of these and you get a sense of why. Let's see. So Tomislav, and these are the pluses and minuses that create that negative 49. So we've got plus one chit chat, slighted twice, so negative eight, harmed me, negative 15. I don't know if that is permanent. I can't move over to find out. It goes away. Um, had an angering fight, negative 22, and hard worker versus lazy, negative five. So the certain things that are always going to be uh, associated with them. We go to Cathra. So Cathra and Klaus. Um, We've got Rapport Built, times 30, so plus 43. Recruited Me, so there's a big bonus for recruiting. Uh, Chit Chat, plus 7. Had a Deep Talk, plus 20. Klaus's Opinion of Me, plus 2. So we'll go to Klaus by clicking on the on the 2. Why is that for Cathra? So we've got a plus 4 for Chit Chat, a plus 13 for a, a Deep Talk, and a negative 15 for Disfigured. So she's got a scar, and the game is counting that as disfigured. Is that with everybody? Or is that just a Klaus thing? So Sangria to Cathra has the negative 15 also. So that's one of the negatives that the game must put into it. Is disfigured. So who else has got a scar that would be comparable? Cathra's there. Knee health. So it is a scratch scar on the right eye or a bite scar on the neck. How does that compare with others? Um, you got a shattered rib there, but not a scar. Klaus had a scar. Bite scar. That's the only other scar? There's a scratch scar to the head. So, Klaus to Natalia. How does that work? Uh, right there. Doesn't show up. So it has something to do with the eye. Klaus Okay, so Cathra to Klaus, with Klaus's scar, burn scar to his neck, uh, right there, doesn't show up. So it has something to do with the eye. So Cathra's eye must be uh, pretty intense to look at. That's the only thing I can guess out of that. But the game will go through with a whole variety of, of positives and negatives to build this, this eventual number. So here's a negative 19 because of 
uh, opinion of me and Natalia's opinion of me. So there's another factor that's involved. So lots of different uh, factors that all accumulate for this. Otherwise, um, I'll just quickly glance through. You guys can pause to see who is thinking what of whom right now while they're all socializing and, and uh, getting to know each other better. And Sangria is getting along with most everybody. And there's Cathra's and Natalia's and Rabbit and a minor break wrist for Klaus. Probably needs some sleep or needs some food. Klaus, right there, needs, he's needing some food. So he's going to get this party, but he's going to have a hard time uh, adjusting afterward. We'll stay long enough to see if he'll go get a meal. Or may just have to force him to. May have to lose the party advantage in order to gain the... Uh, you know, not dying of, of, of starvation negative. A little bit longer. Chantigo is still attending. I thought he was getting ready to leave. We're at 2300, but let it go to 2400. Let it go till, till uh, their command to go to sleep and see which overrides which, the party or the sleep schedule. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure my list is done. I think so. Yeah. So, you guys need warm clothes. Yeah, we're working on that. And we've got... Where's our date? We have 14 days left to pull it off. Plus or minus a couple more. Party has finished, and they're all off to bed. Let's do this before I forget. And, and do this, too. Clear forced. She can wear that one. And assign, restrict, sleep. I kind of like that 2200 number. It gets them up early enough when the, light, when the sun comes up to uh, be able to do... A lot more recording during the daytime but with that klaus you are consuming a fine meal and there's a table right over there so we'll go with that that'll be fine rabbit you are too good you guys will eat the meals you didn't get and there'll be nothing left over there to rot though if you did do it over here you can go to bed so much easier you know i'm gonna do that yeah how many are in this stack five okay why don't you guys consume this fine meal? Rabbit, you too. That way you'll be you'll be something you know, you'll be better for me next episode that much sooner. Otherwise you'll be getting to sleep at three in the morning. Minor break risk. Yep, that'll be fine. And before I forget, we don't want these to stay here, so let's that was just a temporary fix. Somebody's gonna pick that up and go put it away, hopefully within the next two days. So otherwise, I think we can call this one done. Another uh, not quite too exciting episode, but it's been enough of those in a row that we've got to have something a little bit crazy is going to go on next time. Hopefully, ah, uh, Tomislav and, yeah, we got to kind of deal with this, don't we? Ha. Huh. All right, you guys are going to make amends. Actually, how bad is it? Natalia had a laceration. They're just bruises. Tomislav cracks. But no, I thought it once said lacerated, but there's no cuts. Maybe that's already healed. All right. Well, in that case, Tomislav, you are going to rest until healed, right? Food is probably okay. They should heal quickly. Um, same thing there. Yeah, I think the food will be total time right at about the right timing because bruises don't take that long, if I'm correct. 30 of 40, 10 ticks. Is that a night? We'll wait and see. So let's try to remember to check on them. Though, who else has a doctor? Well, we can, we'll have to manually tell someone to go and feed them because they're the two who would most likely go and feed someone. <laughs> Yeah, it's not good when your two doctors have a battle. But I'm going to call this one done. It's been Noble Rambler. Catch you guys in a few days. We're going to got other things to do for a little while. Bye-bye now.